What's up YouTube? Chris Bandy here. I'm going to show you how to solve the 3x3x2 cuboid. If you have any questions, read the description before commenting. Let's get started. If you can already solve the 3x3, you should be able to figure out the white cross on this puzzle. Just remember that if you're looking at the white side, the cross pieces in clockwise order will be red, green, orange, and then blue. If you can make the cross on your own, just skip to the next section. If you can't, no problem. I'll take you through the cross step by step. To begin, hold the cuboid so that the white center is facing downwards. Now find your red-white edge. Here it is. If it's on the top, like this, rotate it to the bottom. Now it's on the bottom. Now find your green-white edge. If it's on the bottom, either to the left of the red-white edge, or opposite it, like this, just rotate it to the top. Once it's on the top, bring it around the top so that it is up and to the right of your red-white edge. So here's the red-white edge. If we go up and to the right, we've got our green-white edge. Once it's like this, just rotate it down to the bottom. So now it is directly to the right of your red-white edge. Now find your orange-white edge. If it's on the bottom to the left of your red-white edge, like this, just rotate it to the top. Once it's on the top, bring it around the top until it is up and to the right of your green-white edge. So here's the green-white edge. Go up and to the right, there's the orange-white edge. Once it's like that, just rotate it down to the bottom so that it is now to the right of your green-white edge. Finally, find your blue-white edge. If it's on the top, like this, bring it around the top so that it is up and to the right of your orange-white edge. Then just rotate it down to the bottom so that it is to the right of your orange-white edge. Your white cross is now complete. Find your white-red-green corner. Here it is. If it's on the bottom like this, check the colors of the edges around it. The edges around this one are red and blue, but the corner is red and green. Therefore, it's in the wrong place. To fix this, we're going to do an algorithm I call the bump. Hold the cuboid so that the bad corner is on the right side and go R U R U prime R. Now our white red green corner is on the top. Once it's on the top, bring it around the top until it's above the white red and white green edges, like this. Do the bump and the corner will be solved. Do the same thing to solve your other three white corners. So I see that this corner is blue and red and the edges around it are green and orange. So I use the bump to take it out and then I move it around until it is above the blue and red edges and do the bump again to put it in. This is the orange and blue corner but it's directly above the orange and green edges. So we need to move it so that it's directly above the orange and blue edges. Then we just do the bump to put it in. We've got our orange and green corner. It's directly above the orange and green edges. So we use the bump to put it in. There we go. Once your first layer is completed, look at all four sides of the top layer. If two corner stickers are the same color on a given side, like this, we call that headlights. Even if it's like this, where all three stickers are the same color, it's still headlights because the two corner stickers are the same color. Now, if you see headlights on all four sides of the top layer, like this, you're good to go and skip to the next section. If you see no headlights anywhere, like this, do the algorithm called the T-perm. For the T-perm, do the bump, then turn the entire cuboid to the right, like this. 
Then do the bump, but with the turns in reverse order, as you can see in the algorithm below. In other words, the top layer goes to the right first, and then the left. If you see headlights on only one face, like this, as you can see, none of the other faces have headlights. If you see headlights on only one face, hold the cuboid so that the face with the headlights is on the left. Then do the T-perm. And you'll now have headlights on all four sides. Once you get headlights on all four sides, turn the top layer so that each set of headlights is the same color as the row below it. For example, I see that this set of headlights is blue, and the bottom row over here is blue. So I'm going to turn the top layer to match the headlights up with the bottom layer. I'll give you two algorithms to help you solve your yellow edges. The first one switches adjacent edges. When you perform it, the front edge moves to the right, and the right edge moves to the front. It goes like this. Do RU twice, RU, RU. Then do RU2 twice, RU2, RU2. Then do the bump. Although that's technically all you need to solve your yellow edges, the algorithm that switches opposite edges is so easy, I might as well show it to you. When you do this next algorithm, the front edge moves to the back, and the back edge moves to the front. It goes like this. Do RU2 three times. RU2, RU2, RU2. If you're a little confused on how to use these algorithms, just find an edge that's obviously not in the correct place. Like this one. This edge is red, and the red side is over here, which means this edge needs to go to the right. If you remember, the adjacent algorithm moves the front edge to the right. So if you do adjacent, you'll get closer to the solve state. What if we picked this edge instead? Well, this edge here is green, and the green side is over here, which means this edge needs to go to the left. We don't have an algorithm for the front edge moving to the left, but if we turn the entire cuboid like this, now the right edge needs to move to the front. And we do have an algorithm for that. It's just the adjacent algorithm again. So if you do adjacent here, you will get closer to the solved state. What if we picked this edge instead? Well, this edge here is blue, and the blue side is over here which means this edge needs to go to the back. If you remember, the opposites algorithm moves the front edge to the back. So if you do opposites ear, you will get closer to the solved state. There are only 11 cases for the last layer. So if you'd like to be able to solve it in only one step, you'll only need to learn eight more algorithms. You can find these online for free or get them and a bunch of other useful algorithms from me for only $1. The link is in the description. All right, I hope this helped you. If it has helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, and let me know what you want to learn next. Thanks for watching.